What is up everyone, it's coming Christmas time. And that means one thing, a lot of brand new people are going to be joining the VR community. So I asked you guys on the Discord whether you would be interested in me creating a brand new series on this channel, a quick and easy modding playlist, where I have videos less than five minutes long on showing you how to mod things about the Oculus Quest. So not only will that be starting soon, but today we're going to be starting off with the number one mod that I think everybody should have done on their Oculus Quest 2 before we even get into the quick and easy tutorials. That way, when we do get into them, things are going to be a lot easier. As usual, in case you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to smack the subscribe button down below and let's get right into the video. As many of you may know, to mod the Oculus Quest 2, not only do you need developer mode enabled, but for most of the things you usually need a PC or a phone. A lot of people really dislike that, that's just not very comfortable. So today I'm going to be showing you the number one thing you should do on your Quest when you start modding. Doing this will allow you to mod your Quest from your Quest. First thing you are going to need, and I know, is either a computer or a phone, but this is the one and only time you are going to need this, so you can simply borrow this from a friend. This once or go to a library and use one of those public computers just for this one time and you will never need it again un unless you want to use SideQuest of course that's a different story. What you are going to want to do is fire up your PC or your phone and visit this page right here. Of course I will have it for you down in the description below. This is the web page for Amaze File Manager. Now there are a bunch of different file managers you can use on your Quest and this will allow you to install APK files, browse your Quest and other things like that directly from it, which is why it's so fantastic. Reason why I chose Amaze is simply because it's open source. Usually that makes people feel a lot safer. It's also entirely free, which is great. So once you're on this page, you want to go to releases, click on it right here, then click on app-fdroid-release.apk, download it right here, and it's going to download to your bottom left-hand corner. In case you're using a PC, next thing you are going to want to do is get yourself SideQuest. If you already have SideQuest, you know you have chapters down below in case you want to skip to the part where we're installing it. Go to the SideQuest website, scroll down to the bottom, click get SideQuest, download it for your desktop or Mac OS X or for Linux, depending which platform you're on. I'm on Windows, so I'm installing it for Windows. Click on it and install it just like you would any other Windows program. SideQuest actually now has an Android app, so I will actually have a quick and easy tutorial on how to use that as well. But for today, we're using the PC. If you don't know how to use the Android app, there's a bunch of different videos out there from other fantastic creators, and I will link a few down below. So now that you have SideQuest, you want to make sure you have developer mode enabled on your Quest. This is quite important simply because if you don't have developer mode, well, SideQuest isn't going to see your device. Once you have made sure that you have developer mode enabled on your Oculus Quest 2, you want to power it on. That's if it isn't already on. Once it's powered on, connect it to your computer using a USB Type-C cable or to your phone, you know, using an OTG cable. Again, all this will be explained on the quick and easy modding with your phone tutorial, and I will be right back to you once I've done that. So now that my Oculus Quest 2 is powered on, what I need to do is I just need to plug it into my PC right here. Now, it's going to show up on my PC that the headset is unauthorized. So what you want to do now is you want to put on the headset and authorize it. So inside the headset, it says allow USB debugging. I'm going to use the volume buttons to click allow, always allow from this computer, and then always allow from this computer again. And now we are fully authorized. So once you are fully authorized, what you want to do is you want to go up to the top right corner here, click install APK from folder on computer, go to your downloads where you have downloaded that APK file from earlier, double click on it, and it's going to install directly to your Oculus Quest. Once this is done, as you can see right here, all tasks completed. Now I'll show you what you can do on your Oculus Quest 2. So now you can exit out of SideQuest, unplug your Quest from your computer, and let's jump into exactly what this allows you to do. So what you want to do now is you want to go to your bottom right to all your apps, click up here, click unknown sources. Then once you are in unknown sources, you'll see a maze right up there. Firing up a maze, you will need to allow it permissions in order to access all your files. And all of a sudden now you see that you basically have a file manager on your quest. Now, this isn't necessarily anything new. We actually got a file manager on the quest a few updates back and there it was right here. But as you can see, clicking on any .apk file inside here would not let you install it. This is simply something that Oculus has implemented to stop you from installing apps. But using a third party file manager, if I go into download and click on add control, you can see here, it'll ask me whether I want to install it. And selecting the package installer, I can now install my APK file just like 
so. Now, it will ask you whether you want to allow installing apps from unknown sources, you will have to allow the installation of apps from something like a maze, and now let's actually try and install something that I do not have on the quest from the quest. So, firing up the web browser, I'm actually not going to update it just for the purpose of this video. Let's try find a Google Chrome APK. Typing in Chrome APK, we can actually access a website like APK Mirror, find the latest APK, click see available downloads, download the ARM64 one, not the bundle. We actually can't install the bundled APKs. I never had any success with installing bundled APKs. I do not know what's so wrong with them. I can just never install them. And now it'll say your download is starting. And you will see down here that as a matter of fact, we are actually downloading the app. You can't see it, it's blacked out for you, but it is downloading right down there. Going back and firing up a maze, we can now refresh and you see that the APK is right there in our downloads. Clicking on it, we can click install. Of course, what else can we download? Let's download Reddit. I'm actually also just going to download VLC because I realized that I might want to watch some movies from time to time. Okay, and now firing back up a maze, refreshing. You can see right here that we've got both Reddit and if I click install, wow, we can't install Reddit either. Can we install VLC? We can install VLC, yay, finally an app that we can install. Oh, this is just some, yeah, sometimes you just need to look for a better APK. And we can fire up VLC just like so. Give it permissions to everything it might want. Start up VLC and boom, all videos. And I guess uh, you can now, I don't know, make VLC larger get a nice big TV screen. I guess you could already do this on the quest, but uh, now you could do it better. Oh yes, the drone video. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. So we've got VLC working. Too bad Reddit and Chrome didn't work, but that's just the way it is with APKs sometimes. They're not going to be as simple to install as official apps. You sometimes just need to find the right APK for your architecture and just the right APK for your device. Some APKs might work on some devices and then just not work on others. But there you go. As you can see, this is an incredibly simple little mod that you should get the second you begin modding your quest, as not only will it make your life easier in the future in case you want to install an APK but don't have a PC or phone around, but it will also become handy in case you want to do any of the mods that we will be doing in the future because we will be using these methods most likely as this will allow you to install discord allowing you to access quest modding discords like the beat saber modding discord for example where you can download apks and install them directly from there not needing a phone pc web browser or any other things like that that just might make it more complicated than it needs to be i hope that this video can help you out i'm sure a lot of you already knew about this and probably already had it done but again we're about to see a surge of brand new people joining the VR space and the modding space and I just want to welcome you all and I just want to welcome anybody joining without an Oculus Quest 2 with a completely other headset as well. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this method down below, whether you already had it done, possibly what mods you've done on your quest. I love seeing how creative you guys can become with these devices. Now this goes without saying, you cannot install side quest games with this, unfortunately you will still need a PC for that because side quest uses its own servers and I still don't know where it downloads those APK files. But that is going to be it. Thank you all so much for being here. I hope you all have a fantastic day or night. If you guys liked the video, please leave a like. If you guys disliked it, I guess this button works too, but please tell me why down in the comment section below. If you guys are not yet part of our community, check out our Discord down below and check out our Reddit. If you guys have any issues, you know, ping me. I don't mind. I'm there to help. If you guys would like to support the channel in any way, shape, or form, we've got sick mugs down below that boost your FPS by 300% and merch that does not put a huge ad on your body. Thank you so much to the Patreon supporting this channel. You guys help me out a ton just buying better gear and making these videos a lot better for everyone to watch. So thank you so much for that. And of course, in case you guys want to be notified about future content coming up on the channel daily make sure to smack the subscribe button with your forehead ding my bell and see you again in the next video peace